Hello and welcome back to Patient Knowledge. I'm Dr. Kirmani and today I'm going to be talking about a problem that can be embarrassing and distressing to many. No matter how old you are, seeing a pimple on your face can be upsetting. It's not only a problem in teenagers but can also affect adults. So let's get straight into it and find out more about it. In this video, I will focus on some of the topics like what's acne, what's the cause, who gets it. I will give you some important facts about acne, its treatment and foods to avoid. So stay till the end. What's acne? Acne is inflammation of the sebaceous or the oil glands of the skin. At first, these glands become blocked, form blackheads and whiteheads, and then inflammation can lead to red bumps yellow heads, and even deep tender cysts. Now, acne is a pro common disorder or a problem of adolescence. It appears usually on the face, but can extend onto the neck, chest, and back. Here, I would like to also mention that it can also happen even in adults. So I'm going to talk about that in a bit. What's the cause? Acne is related to the increase in the levels of male hormones during puberty in both sexes. Although the increase in hormone levels is normal, some people seem more sensitive to it. Bacteria on the skin grow in the block gland and release fatty acids which are irritating and set up inflammation. Now who gets it? Most young men aged 13 to 18 will get acne. It's worse in males aged 18 to 19. It's slightly less common in girls. For them, it's worse around 14 years and around period time. Here are some important facts about acne. It's not caused by oily hair or hair touching the forehead. It's not infectious from one person to another. Ordinary chemicals including chlorine in swimming pools do not make it worse. Blackheads are not dirt and will not dissolve in hot, soapy water. It may flare up with excessive stress. Now, what's the treatment? There are two ways by which acne can be controlled. One is lifestyle remedies, the other one is the medical treatment. So let's talk about lifestyle remedies first. Mild acne or pimples can be self-managed with lifestyle changes. Oil is a major cause of acne. so. Keep your face clean and your hair away from it. Changing your pillowcases daily or weekly can help prevent buildup of oil from face to end hair. Now wash your face twice or thrice per day with lukewarm water and gentle cleanser. Remember, don't scrub your skin too hard. This can aggravate your skin even more. Avoid using skincare products that can be irritating such as scented lotions or oil-based makeup. Don't forget to moisturize your skin. And while choosing moisturizer, look for labels which say non-comedogenic. They are oil-free and lightweight and are suitable for people with acne. Now, medical treatment consists of two things. Topical medications or antiseptics and oral medications. The topical ones are available in the form of creams, lotions, gels that you can apply over your skin. Over-the-counter products contain active ingredients such as salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide and tretinoin lotions which are quite effective. The oral medications can be antibiotics, uh, long-term tetracycline are useful to help fight bacteria and infection from inside out. So if your doctor feels that this is tea, they will prescribe you antibiotics. The other can be birth control pills. They help to improve acne by regulating the hormone levels. It should be avoided in pregnancy. The third and the last one is isotretinoin, which is a strong drug and is reserved only for severe cases. Now, there are some times or certain things that can uh, trigger acne even in adults. It can be during hormonal changes, 
use of oily skin, hair or care products, certain medicines, sweat, humidity, and diet. So talking about diet, let's go into detail what kind of diet are uh, to be avoided. Uh, it, can, it, is, it includes dairy products, fast food or oily food, chocolate, lean meat and animal protein, whey protein powder, refined grains, foods rich in omega-6 fats and sugar. Now here are some foods that one should include in order to improve the acne. Complex carbohydrates, vitamin A, D and E, probiotics, turmeric and zinc. That's all for today. I hope this information regarding acne was useful in understanding what's acne and how to manage it. Thank you for listening. If you wish to hear more of such kind of health related videos, support my channel by liking, sharing and subscribing it. Bye for now.